My name is Chrissy Judd, and I am the executive director and founder of Love, Pray, Peace Project Veterans Residence here in Philadelphia. Our organization really lowers the barriers of veterans receiving benefits and housing and other resources from the government. I found out that a lot of um, veterans don't really know a lot about, have a lot of information about their benefits. I've, I've been out of the military for over 20 something years, but I'm just finding out about many of the benefits. I was introduced to veterans through my godfather. I just saw firsthand the difficulties he had on the medical care side. Eventually he succumbed to his disabilities it was like a fire lit inside of me. I knew I had to do something to help other veterans as I watched him go through what he went through firsthand with the VA. I'm grateful for this place that is here and it helped me lift myself and my brother up. We take veterans who are um, homeless or near homeless and we connect them with housing opportunities through PHA or other um, housing programs. The organization helps about 30 to 40 veterans a day. We're small but mighty, and that's how I feel. And I thank Wawa for even acknowledging what we do in um, serving veterans. I'm Lauren Kobelars. I'm the executive director at Students Run Philly Style. Philly Style. Students Run Philly Style is a mentoring program that inspires young people in Philadelphia to achieve their goals through training for a long distance race. I never really thought I was like a sports person and then I joined Run Club and I was like, oh wow, this is like a sport that I'm good at. Before I couldn't even like run a mile. I have done 13 miles. We work with young people all over the city in every zip code to train for races starting at the minimum distance of a 5K, working all the way up to a full marathon. And now we work with at least a thousand young people each year. It was pretty life-changing for me because like like I said, it's I never thought I would be like good at running or sports or anything. And now I, I'm really good and I run like I I can keep a really good pace and I run really fast. It's a nine month program. We run one race every month, and we know that through our program, our young people learn goal setting, confidence, connectedness to other people, and uh, character that helps them in every aspect of their lives. Students Run Philly Style is completely free for all of our students, all of our mentors. The grand prize would mean so much to us. It would help us reach more young people throughout the city, be in more different neighborhoods, and um, just expand our services to more youth so we can have more people crossing finish lines together. Thank you, Wawa, for recognizing us and really recognizing the power of young people in this city. Hi, my name is Kevin Upsh. I'm the director of the Strawberry Mansion Community Learning Center. We started the Learning Center in 2012 and we started it because of the violence in the community, uh, young people uh, seeming to uh, want direction and help. I think it's important, especially to have in this neighborhood, uh, to inspire kids to become greater than like some people tell them they can be. Every day we, we have over 25 kids that come in. I've learned many different new things and every time I come here I learn something new and it's just not like, it's just not like going to school. It's like I'm having fun while learning new things. Our mission statement is to create a space for kids to learn and grow. This is a place that we want kids to come and be able to identify who they are. It's a cultural thing as well. If you want to give your kid an opportunity to find out different ways and like learn new things and find out different paths that they can take to become a successful per person, I think they should choose the Learning Center. We have about 30 computers, so we normally like to have about 30 kids. We would put a computer lab, a state-of-the-art computer lab in the Strawberry Mansion Learning Center. It's something that's uh, overdue. We thank Wawa for the opportunity of selecting it.
I'm Jeremy Montgomery. I'm president and CEO of Philly House here in Center City. The work that we do here at Philly House is personal. I myself have been homeless twice. I know what it feels like to be rejected and to carry that stigma and yet also be able to have a resource of pride to say their tomorrow can be better. Being, being here is, is, a, is a blessing for me. I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm here happy to, to change, that, uh, change my life, to, to get back on my feet and I'll leave here. Today we are Philly's largest homeless shelter and also the only three meals a day served to the public in this entire city, 365 days of the year. We served one third of all of Philadelphia's homeless male population last year. Every single night we serve approximately 138 men and we have 150 beds right here in this room. Our heroes are the homeless guests themselves because of the tragedies that they're trying to overcome and to be able to face their, their hurdles and, and do it with, with a lot of dignity and a lot of respect. Our other heroes are our volunteers. My message to Wawa is thank you for doing this. It's such an honor to be able to showcase the work that we do every single day. Happy 4th of July, Philadelphia and Wawa.